Hello, and welcome to Retro Roulette. Have you parked your car today? I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Fortione. Uh, hi. Jason Amherst. That is an offensive stereotype. <laughs> Ashley Miller. Uh... And Billy Carter. Wow. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Billy, Billy, don't ever do that again. <laughs> Maximum Boston achieved. <laughs> uh, so, uh, welcome back to the N64 Roulette. We are playing some uh, N64 games. Uh, interestingly enough, we have three vetoes. Uh, no chance to earn any extra ones because everybody's here. That means there's no extra veto spaces on the wheel. Everybody has their own space today. Um, with that being said, let's spin it and begin it. Oh, 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 oh. Have a few. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Good start. What is it? Oh. Oh. Oh, Hans. Oh, oh Hans. Oh, Hans on deck. Oh, oh. It's the real part. Yes. AKA the one where you're the one with the uh, the, the one where I palm. will destroy my palm. The the one that's actually on Nintendo Switch Online. <laughs> That's the hilarious thing. When this was re-released on Wii Virtual Console and Wii U, it was an altered version of the game that got rid of the rotating the joystick thing or alternately tapping A and B, like in Mario Party 2 and 3. When they put this back up on the Switch Online service, nope, it's the original ROM. Boop, 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 boop. Beep, bop, Look at that boop, stupid bop. smile on Donkey Kong's face. <laughs> Donkey Kong like, Look at you, you big pink nose motherfucker. <clears throat> By the way, Jace, if you want, if you can, you can uh, edit that list and make sure it's up to date. Uh, no, I can't make any edits because I wasn't the one who made the post. Oh, that's shit. <laughs> you, you can't, like, copy-paste it. <laughs> I mean, I can. Yeah. If you would like, you Fine, can. I'll do it. Do you know how to format it so that it crosses off games? Jason's um, got it. I was just going to remove Mario Party from the list like you, a normal You can't person, edit it but... if you're not the original poster. Well, it's yeah. He literally just paste. said that. Yeah, but he, Jace is already taking that's, care of that's it. Why I'm, that's why I'm just doing a copy pasta. Yeah. Well, and I was going to do copy pasta too, but, you know. Of it. Perfect, thank you. Three diarrhea cards. We're calling them. We're calling them diarrhea cards now, by the way. Diarrhea cards. Yep. <laughs> Thanks to Get Her Love Panda Love Unit. <laughs> that's that, that's so beautiful. Yep. <laughs> diarrhea cards. What? Diarrhea. Mario. Cha -cha -cha. We, we can't. Oh no, we can't play this game. <laughs> It's got I'm diarrhea. Wario, leave Donkey Kong alone, you childish bitch. We're going to compare wiener sizes. Nah. Well, then Wario Why? might win because uh, gorillas have very small penises. I don't know why you Wario, know that. <laughs> Wario is, is not a gorilla. Be no, but Donkey Kong is. Is it because of which is why I said Wario will win because gorillas have very small penises. It's uh, I can't remember which country has this insult, but if someone calls you a gorilla dick, it's considered an insult because gorillas have the smallest penises of yeah. mammals. Yeah, yeah, but gorillas also sang Clint Eastwood, so. <laughs> yeah, so when you get called a, a gorilla dick, it's not necessarily a compliment. You're 
pretty much saying that oh, God. dude's got a small PP. So I have to. There um, was a moment. What's you that? First. No, you go first. I was going to say, uh, in the most recent Botchamania, where uh, they uh, screwed up on commentary and called Damien Priest Damon uh, Priest. So they uh, quickly put uh, 2D from the gorillas over his face. Mm-hmm. Did you, they could have went with Damon Wayne, but no. But no. So I have to, I need to speak directly to <laughs> Mr. Amber for a second. Okay. You know, I have to ask, what video did you watch where trial and error looks like a good movie? Uh, the video that I sent you. Oh, oh let me re- okay. Let me rephrase. Like, was it a specific like reviewer or? Oh, uh, it was the, had almost cult entertainment. Cult. Okay. Yeah, almost cult classic. Because I gotta, I gotta tell you, that's a that's a movie where I will readily admit I haven't watched it in a while. But the last time I remember watching it, I'm like this. That movie was kind of stinky. It was uh, stinky they, poo-poo? I guess they really played up <laughs> the, the positives for it. Yeah, more or less. The, the guy had some good video reviews. Like, it, it was because of him that I actually learned about uh, uh, the comedy duo that the game Slaps and Beans is based off of. Okay. Um, and he's done phenomenal retrospectives on like classic comedy duos the three stooges uh uh, retrospectives on the uh seinfeld curse so so he's done some great stuff speaking of the seinfeld curse trial and error exactly well that's that's what he brought up was you know i've done the seinfeld case files for a while covering you know people afflicted by the seinfeld curse but how about a story of success prior to Seinfeld? And then he brings up the movie. And it's like, <laughs> oh, yeah, because Michael Richards did have somewhat of a, you know, career before Kramer, you know, like Stanley Spadowski. I mean, he was the best part also, of the Yeah. He also was on Fridays. That show. He was in the Friday first days. Problem Child movie. He played the villain. That was during when he was still on Seinfeld. And and his career has never recovered. <laughs> well, he did, he, didn't he, he did do, do an interview recently where he said he canceled himself? Well, I mean, when you, when you repeatedly drop the N-word... In a room full of people of color, yeah, that tends to destroy your career. And yet, Andy yeah. Dice Clay still has a job. Well, he did that in the eighties. Oh, back in the eighties, back when racism was somewhat tolerable. Uh... I mean, it wasn't tolerated back then. But let's just say, if you made a joke. Well, of course, Michael Richards didn't make a joke. I didn't realize you could play let Mario Party play itself. <laughs> uh, is that what you're doing right now? I just turned my character to computer, and yeah, now I'm letting it play. <laughs> uh, there's no need to stress that. Yep. Do, 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 all right, I got a question for all y'all. What? Okay. Yeah, it, it's not a serious question. Out okay. Of all the Batmobile, out of all the Batmobiles that have existed, whether on television, in animation, in the comics, or in the movies, which one would you like to own? Eighty nine. Probably the probably the eighty nine Batman. Yeah, I'd, I'd say eighty nine yeah. slash. The one from the animated series. He stole my balloons. Uh, me, it would either be the eighty-nine. It would either be the eighty-nine or the sixty-six. Either one of those two. Bob. Each sounded like a trumpet. Bob. 
Gun. Bam. I'm gonna need a moment alone, boys. Mm-hmm. Poor that Bob. part. Poor Bob. And I think what what makes it even better is the look on his face is like, well, I'm about to get shot, Art. Like he really conveyed that very well, I thought. Yeah, he knew what was gonna happen, but he was such a loyal friend. Like I'm gonna get shot. It's like pop. Well, he kind of if you if you watch that scene, he kind of like pauses for a second, and then he's just like, uh, "Okay, well, this is how it's gotta go." Thank you. <laughs> well, guess that's it. Wow. Well, at Mario, least I'm not being killed by dead. Batman. <laughs> and the guy and Tracy Walter, who played Bob, yeah, has a very, very storied career. Huge character really? actor. I believe he was in over 150 movies. Wow. So he That's had impressive. a very good career. Never really a mainstay, you know, main character guy. But hey, you know, if you're in that many movies, you're making a good living. I would suspect. Wow, he's he's I 81. Think- wow. Uh, well, of course, that movie's over 30 years old. Hey, uh, hey, Billy, you know what uh, the name of this game is, right? Oh, it's Mario Party. Finish. Yeah, but the mini game. Um, poop shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Close. I was going to say, uh, Pepe Maze. Pepe Maze? Pepe. Maze? <laughs> Pepe. <laughs> Pepe! Pepe, 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 Luigi, like, I'm gonna steal money from you, bitch. <laughs> the, and the rich get richer. Ah! And the bitch get bitcher. The rich get richer. Because, you know, Luigi Does has the his own mansion. The That's rich true, get because... rich and the poor won't bitch if the Koopas are out there. Farting. Well, single player minigame. For Wario, yep. Uh-oh. Wow, look at my wee wee. Wow. <laughs> and Wario was never seen. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, spastic. We don't even need your soundboard today, Jace. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. So, any of you ever watched the YouTube channel Meat Canyon? Holy fucking shit. No, I only learned of it recently because it was mentioned in an episode of The Simpsons. Dude! Dude! I love that. I follow that channel. The the celebrities that... He pretty much... He, he, he only goes towards celebrities and internet personalities for the most part. That's what he goes... Well, actually, I think that's all he goes towards at TV people. Uh, he tries to keep yeah. out of the realm of cer- certain things but if it's you know on the internet in a movie <laughs> or on a television show he's going to make fun of it and he's going to be really harsh about it okay yeah yeah uh, it's it's, it's, it's <laughs> funny it's, it's just funny it's a funny it's a funny uh, i don't know he's no dupe is goop is no so uh who we are dupe is goop is who are we all rooting for? Who do we think is going to be in the lead by the end of this segment? I, hmm. I try to go for Yoshi because Donkey Kong's not in the running. I, it's, I feel like it's either going to be Yoshi or Luigi. But uh, I choose I, Luigi! As I say, Donkey Kong is not playing because every time a Mario Party game exists with Donkey Kong as a, play, as a player... Donkey Kong is a fucking dick. <laughs> Every experience I've had with Mario Party. Oh, shit. Bowser minigame. 
Every time I've had, every time I've played against Donkey Kong in Mario Party, Donkey Kong has ram fucking pushed my shit in. Or he's completely inept. <laughs> no, he's usually the one pushing my shit in. Luigi's usually the one that's completely inept. Well, Luigi usually just wins by doing nothing. Man, look at look at Peach's like pushing method. She's like little, little big, little, little big. Uh, Yoshi. Little, little big. No, looks like Luigi. Yeah. Or maybe yeah, Peach. Luigi's got that. No, Luigi. Peach, it won't be Peach. No, Yoshi. Nobody. Draw. Draw. Yeah, nobody blew blew their bells wow. up in time. You guys are pathetic. Everybody lost 10 coins because there was a draw. Because Bowser's the bitch. Peach gets 10 coins for pass and go. And now it's time for now everybody Bowser versus Wario. Pull over, pull over. Or Wario versus everybody. <clears throat> yeah, this game would be more <laughs> Wario's advantage. I never liked this game. If you're the bowling pins, you're pretty much fucked. Unless the bowler does something really dumb. <laughs> like, hit the sides of the fucking thing. I'm actually shocked. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. You got one pin down, Wario. You didn't even knock the other opponents down. <laughs> <laughs> I am a winner. I win one coin. I went from fourth place to fourth place. Fourth place. <laughs> I think I need a diarrhea <laughs> card. <laughs> I, am one coin I am one coin Richard. <laughs> <laughs> My name is one coin are, Richard. <laughs> for those of you who are unaware, uh, we have changed the name of the veto card yes. to diarrhea. Yes, we have. Uh, oh no, I'm days. afraid we can't diarrhea. play this game. Oh no, I'm gonna give this game diarrhea. Yep. <laughs> diarrhea, <laughs> diarrhea, <laughs> diarrhea, 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 diarrhea. Yay, Pepto Bismol. <laughs> Pepto Bismol. Uh, so well, Luigi's there's, there's uh, got a star. Flash animation where you can customize the Pepto Bismol uh, jingle. The uh, nausea, heartburn, indigestion, that's a stomach, diarrhea. But you can just click nothing but diarrhea, so that it just goes diarrhea, 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 okay. diarrhea, diarrhea. Yay, Pepto Bismol! <laughs> what was the. Shit um, your pants and do a dance. Yay, Pepto Bismol. What was that game we played? Bit gotcha Love or. Get her, get her Love? Yeah. Panda Love you. Get her Love. Yeah. Billy. I wish you had been there for that because quite I was very confused. <laughs> it is a very yeah. Japanese game. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 very Japanesey. Keep it rolling, 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 rolling. It ain't rolling, easy rolling, being rolling, Japanese. Rolling. Come on. All right, thoughts on uh thoughts on Mario Party Dane. Oh. I mean, this is a classic game. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the rotate the joysticks until your fucking palms bleed, but apparently they patched that out. It's different now, so yay. Yay. But only on the Wii and Wii U. Uh, on the Switch, you still gotta destroy your palm. Yep. Yeah. I, I should know. I played it not too long ago, and I was like, Oh my god, the joystick thing is still in here. <laughs> uh Jason. God, that was that was a freaking uh February break, you know, to remember back in uh middle school. Because like none of my friends, like, we all had massive bandages on the palms of our hands. Some of us on both hands from playing Mario Party that whole damn week. Mm. Good times. Good uh, Ashley. Core memory unlocked. Ah, oh, I missed this game. It's good. Uh, Billy. I had to wear gloves when I played this game because I did get a callus. I actually have 
a scar <laughs> from playing this game. I do. It's right here on my palm. Because I was like <laughs> doing that. So then I started, whenever I played this, I, I wore like these uh, leather gloves. Were, were like, they fingerless gloves? gloves? Yes, yes, they that's were. That's what I wore too. Oh, and um, I'll have to show you guys the scar for where I have it. It's like a discoloration spot on my palm right here to where it got calloused so much. Uh, but oh my God, the memories of this game. Oh. I'm just glad it's on the switch down where the the uh, thumbstick isn't as abrasive. Yeah, this is a classic party game. It is the start of a gigantic fucking franchise that has like 15 games a part of it. Uh, a franchise that really started to fall apart after the eighth one. Um, and it it's 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 so good. It recovered recently too. Yeah. Like the the two most recent Wii ones have actually or uh, Switch Wii ones. ones. Switch ones have been really good. Yeah, Super Mario um, Party is essentially just Mario Party Mario Party Generations, but <laughs> Yeah. In, in essence, it's still good. It's still a really good game. Scores out of 10, Dane. Dang. Jason. Dang. Ashley. Dang. Billy. Dang. Yep. Five tens across the board. We got a fiver. All right, fiver goes west. Let's yeah. go. What a second game of the episode are coming up. Silly, that silly little mouse. Ah, we have landed on Billy's choice. Billy, pick a game. All right, that list. Uh, Nitro. Nitro. Of course. <laughs> Billy, why? Billy, why? And unfortunately, because it was More a Billy's choice, hell. Billy's choice, we can't veto it, so <laughs> we have to play it. <laughs> so we can't diarrhea card it. I, I think you can. I think it's computer versus computer. You can. Oh, I can. I'm, that's what I'm planning on doing. <laughs> Is this think, the game where you can you can do a sneak attack and like different wacky wrestlers come out? <laughs> I I don't remember. I only vaguely remember WCW Thunder. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the one where you can do the <laughs> FMVs of each wrestler? Or was yeah, the um, on, the, on, on the PlayStation one, yeah, you can. And they're, that's probably the remember, best part of the games. You remember, hello, here's Alex Ray. If you, if you did, played it twice, he did one in German and one in English. Um, what happened here? Is it not um, compatible? Uh, game? Game? Oh, of course it's, my choice would do this. Uh, the, the whole Oops. program is not responding. Oops. Oh, you. no. There we go. All right, we're back. Wheel, maybe. All right, uh, back to the... We're back. <laughs> I don't know why it did the thing it <laughs> did it first story. time. But it it works now, so it's whatever. I'd put it on easy just in case it can't do computer versus computer. Okay. Random ring. Oh, Battle Royal, of course. I mean, oh, okay, I can do computer oh. versus. So I'm gonna go back and put it on hard then. <laughs> Make it hard. Make it hard just for me. Here we go. Here we go. DDP, Hogan, Saturn, and, and Goldberg are the first ones in. Hey, those were the big, one of some of the biggest names in WCW. So there's a 16-person battle royal, apparently. Some big names in there. And Perry Saturn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ruined his fucking career. And then Re what did WWF do? Uh... Remember when he had the love affair with the mop? Yeah. And all because he beat Bobby. the shit. Yeah, because he beat the shit out of a guy on Heat. Or whatever, Jacked, Metal. I don't fucking remember which program it was. One of them Or Mike. Shotgun. <laughs> yeah. Was it Shotgun? I don't remember. Uh, I, I don't remember. Uh, all I know is well, his name is... Fucking the motherfucker was, on his head. All I know is the guy's name was Mike Bell. Yeah, he, he had his bell rung. <laughs> 
by Perry Saturn. Wait, wait, yeah. He had his bell rung. Gone. I mean, there we go. <laughs> I was waiting for here's it. The thing. Here's the there, thing. There's a Discord delay. Here's the thing, though. The most over that Perry Saturn was in. Oh, well, there goes DDP. DDP is gone. The most over that he Perry Saturn was in WC in WWE was the Moppy Cat, the Moppy Egg. So it's true. Here comes Lex Luger. Really wish robots would stop trying to. F I wish sex robots would stop following me. Um, sex what? robot, sex robot, sex robot, sex robot. It's like the Instagram sex models robot, and the sex, sex robot. robot. Coming to your town. Do you want to get down? Hello, Ashley. This is Blowjobtron2000. How may I serve this? I thought for a second you said Blowjobtron2000. See you, Perry Saturn. Yeah. Why would anybody want to blow me in the year 2000? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> in the year I mean, everybody knows the proper year is 2012 <laughs> yeah. hey, uh, what? I'm, I'm on uh, Big Bad Toy Store right now and uh, they got yeah. the uh, um, well the I don't know if you have this the Kamen Rider W double driver yeah I got the CSM one the Kamen Rider W double 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 the uh yeah the one from bandai uh, the, yeah the futo pi edition one. Oh, yep yeah, yep yeah. okay that's the one i'm looking at all right never mind yep yeah i right. already have it <laughs> Just, yeah 217 dollars yeah i forget how much i paid for it i paid for it in two installments via co collectibles for that thing and all it is is a sound effect machine basically <laughs> Uh, the, the sound effects don't even come out of the belt. They come out of the uh, the memory sticks. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Goldberg's gone. What? Who's next? That was Luger, Here comes Bret Hart. Good thing Goldberg just got eliminated. <laughs> you got to think. These are some of the biggest names. Did you, oh, me? Did you just kick me in the head? By the I'm way. I'm going to hold a grudge against you for 500 bazillion. Uh, recommendation because apparently they're doing a four-part series on Vice. Uh, the very first episode of the four-part series, Who Killed WCW, is on YouTube for free. Go check it out. Nice. Mm. Ex executive produced by The Rock. I mean... I, I, I can think of a few people that led to its here, destruction. Um, the oh, there's a long list. And they all point fingers gonna, at each other. <laughs> are they going to tell us anything that we don't know? Probably not. But I, a lot of people who were interviewed were just pointing it's just pointing the fingers at each other. It's like, oh, Hulk Hogan killed it with his creative control. No, Eric Bischoff killed it because he didn't know how to run let a me, company. Let me guess. They're going to point to the finger point of Duke, aren't they? Uh, I don't know. The finger, well, nope. the first episode finger seems point. to imply that the Sting-Hogan uh, match at Stark 97 was the start of it because the finish was all fucked up. Because Hogan didn't want a job clean. Yeah. And, and Bret Hart thought it was a f stupid finish. He was the special enforcer for that match. That was the first... Oh, that was really his first... The first thing he ever did for WCW was that. Here comes Jericho. The Jericho. learning tree. <laughs> the learning tree. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to trademark Jericycle. Have you seen that meme going around? No. I, I'm not uh, even sure. Basically, uh, so Jer Jericho, uh, Jericho exists. He, uh, well, that's he invents great. a new persona. Oh, see you, Brett. And uh, people enjoy it. <laughs> and then it overstays its welcome. And people just want him gone. And he reinvents himself again. Repeat cycle. Here comes Giant. Oh! Oh, Hulk Hogan didn't have creative control in this game. Man, let yeah. Luger is just tossing motherfuckers left and right. That's what he that was that was I was gonna say that that was kind of his thing. Oh, what about me? But 
What about Raven? In the game, like, I know he was tossed to motherfuckers in real life, but in the game, they just make it seem like he just I... so He did. He sound... did body slam Yokozuna on the USS Potomac. This is going to sound very stupid, but what is this learning tree gimmick? Like, what, what exactly is Jericho doing? Uh, he's, he's now supposedly pretending to be a mentor to all who go up against him as he's now the FTW champion. He, he wanted to be the mentor to Hook. And he changed Hook it to, want it. he changed it to For the World. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, so he beat Hook, took the championship, and, uh, now he's got Big Bill underneath him. And uh, Jericho's got yet another faction. Big Bill, get out from under no me. No surprise. <laughs> I'm walking in. Okay. No, 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 no. He just rides Big Bill into the uh, arena the way that uh, Jungle Boy used big, to be on. Big uh, Bill, for those Lucha unaware, uh, is the former Big Cass. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> long so time ago. Really long, still long still time ago, he was seven or... foot tall, and you couldn't teach that. Now apparently you can just teach it to any old schmo. Yeah, now courtesy of the learning tree. Yep. Raven's in danger. So the idea is is that you got to give him into the red and then you can throw them out of the com out of the ring, out of the company, yeah. <laughs> Freudian well, I slip. Guess Raven's throw him out. Yeah. Raven's throw him out. back to PW. That's yep. it. Raven's heading back to heading the WWF for a lucrative run in the hardcore division. Remember doesn't he hold the, 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 the record? Uh, for most hardcore title wins? Yeah. 37. So remember, folks, according to the stories, Eric Bischoff had a meeting with the wrestlers, and he said, if you don't like it here, you can leave. No questions asked. And Raven just got up and walked out of the room and quit. Wow. If the, if the story is true. Mm. Well... I mean, can't be mad at a motherfucker for making a choice. He, he uh, Raven ended up on the winning side. A little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, decisive action. Giants gone. Considering uh, the crazy shit that uh, Brian Pillman <laughs> did, you know, leaving companies and whatnot, and eventually uh, blazing his trail before dying in WWE. <laughs> he he doing. Here comes Braun Breaker's dead. Now his now his son's there. Well, actually, Braun hey. Pillman and hey, hey, Lois. Remember when Rick Steiner had a confrontation with Chucky the Killer Doll? Yeah. Wasn't that stupid? Yeah, it was. That's right, Keita. It was. Stupid. That made my vagina dry up faster than the Niagara Falls. Uh, Why did that make it wet? That, no. That, uh, the little, implica the implication is, is I'm always wet. No matter what, for uh, any reason. Here comes Hennig. Not just not not even dry, not even Kurt Hennig, just Hennig. That's nice. uh, that's Mr. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, not in WCW, it wasn't. Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect is a um, w was a WWE copyright. <laughs> um, 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 actually, um, actually, whoa, Jesus Christ! Oh God! Wow! In the, the match. Beginning, you know, when he, when he hey, first I always there, wanted to did. see a match between the two people that got fired in the plane ride from hell. <laughs> Yo, here comes Wait. Macho Man. And oh, and now Big Bop, Bop, Boop, Bat, Beep, Bop. When Kurt Henning first went to WWE, they did call him Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning. That's WWE. And then later on. We're talking, this is WCW. No, um, they never said Mr. Perfect in WCW because they didn't own the copyright. <laughs> oh, no, I know that. What I'm saying is when he was there... They started, you know, they used Kurt Henning at first in WWE. Yeah. They called him Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning. Okay. Then, la then later on, they just dropped his name and just started calling him Mr. Perfect only. Okay. You know, they say, I'm, they say all men are created equal. You that, that's nice, but I only, I was only saying that he was not called Mr. Perfect in WCW. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I know that. Even though they did reference it a few times. I cannot believe was... that a throwaway joke that I just made, we're actually debating about this. Because <laughs> everybody seems to think I said I something that I didn't. <laughs> I said I said what I said, and it was factually correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Mr. Perfect, Macho Man. These this are the final three, yeah, by the, the way. This is the most, like Perfect. least likely people to see oh. at the end of a battle royale. We're down to well. Kurt Hennig and Scott Steiner. Is the big bad well, booty daddy going to pull this one out? Come on, Kurt. Come on, baby. Let's go, Kurt. <laughs> no simpy. No sympathy. No. The whole macho man. Oh, it's over. McMahon it's tomorrow. over. Kurt Hennig has won. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I think we all can agree. We do Kurt. like Kurt. We've, we've always liked Kurt Hennig. His son is a charisma vacuum. But in any event, uh, <laughs> thoughts on WCW Nitro Dane? Um, I mean, it. It looks like it controls like complete and utter garbage, but that was still a fun battle royale, and I'm glad that Mr. Perfect won. <laughs> Perfect. Jason. You know, I just can't get, like, over the mismatchedness of everything from, like, the low-quality JPEG images to the flame gif that is behind start game here on the title screen oh like God, yeah this, you're right this really feels like a freaking budget title <laughs> demonstration uh ashley uh well it seems like it's a fun time waster game but this game does not look all that well and i have notes for starters, in the Battle Royale, the fact that you could just pick a motherfucker up and just throw them like they're a fucking can of soda. Just straight up air, no struggle, just yeet right out the ring. Would I play it if it was at a friend's house when we were bored? Yeah, I would. But would I want to own it? No, I wouldn't. Billy. I, uh... I remember playing this game at a friend's house. Uh, I didn't own it for my N64. Billy later murdered that friend. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, that friend was let, out me for just, that. let me just tell you, what, the, the, the one on the PlayStation was better because, well, you had the FMVs, and that was the saving grace uh, of this of this game, is you had the Hello, FMVs that you could sit... Yeah. Hello, this that's right. He's blinking, bash, burgen, in face. I don't think they for me, did a high flying. Yeah, okay. pretty much. Yeah. Uh, alrighty. Uh, in any event, yeah, this is um, not good. This is the first WCW game after they lost the Aki license. After Aki didn't, they lost the license and ended up moving to do WWE games, the first of which we will get to. Oh, no. They had, they had the Aki license even. With this during this time. This was also on uh, with Aki. Uh huh. I don't. Uh, why does that? It, it's not the their even, logo didn't appear anywhere in the opening. Yeah, I was gonna say this oh, is no. not an Aki game. They had, they had two separate companies because on the PlayStation, this was also this was on a, the PlayStation. This was a THQ game, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's THQ, but it's not Aki. I don't think. Yeah, they were the publisher, but. Not the uh, not the actual yeah. developer. It was developed by Inland Productions. Yeah, Inland Productions. They, yeah. So this was a, a originally a PS One game. It, well, it, yeah, it, it is a PS One game. Over. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah it's THQ, but it's the last time THQ is involved with WCW, and it's the first one without the Aki uh, engine. It's a diff completely different game. It's not as good. Um, I have fonder memories of WCW Thunder, and that's essentially the same game, although it's a, it's a, it's slightly better. It's a lot more absurd. You, know, you can do things like fight on the moon and shit like that. But uh, it's yeah, it's 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 all right. I mean, I, I, there's a better wrestling game coming down the down the road. 
a couple of them, as a matter of fact. Scores out of 10, Dane. Two. Jason. Five. Ashley. Four. Billy. Five. I'm going to give it a four. Being generous. I'm being gelatinous. Oh, Oh, by the way, I weighed myself this morning, and I'm at 307. Nice. Goody gumdrop. Holy holy fuck, what a loaded game. What a loaded fucking episode this is. Oh, Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Ooh, yeah. So I, I watched a retrospective on this recently. Um, don't play it thinking that it's a Castlevania game. Uh, play it thinking it's more of a survival horror, and you're going mm. to have a much better time. Okay. And be, careful, ah. be careful carrying around magical nitrous oxide. It'll kill you. I have to reset the program because my controller should shut off. Oh, so your controller was like, oh, it's Castlevania 64. Fuck no, it this. shut off during Nitro, and I just, when it shuts off, I have to restart the whole program over. Well, the good news is there are three, no, I take that back, four games on the wheel that if it ends up, hold on, what, maybe five. I gotta check out this title. But yeah, there's at least four or five titles on this that if it lands on my choice, it'll <laughs> probably be a good pick. Yeah. But yeah, what a loaded episode this is. Yeah. Mario Party and Castlevania. Party. And also Nitro. <laughs> Look at the size of that moon. Oh, the okay. Moon. The... Okay. This this one's not the one I was thinking of, but I, I think you, you know it's interesting that. too because like this uh, really is like the first half of a game because then there's the other game where you play as the werewolf dude, yeah. and yeah, that's the sequel. Basically, like yeah, yeah, like that's the unfortunate thing is it's kind of like a uh, Sonic Three and Knuckles situation, except the games don't link up. <laughs> But isn't it also that? Oh you no! Can it's the Necronom Nom Nomicon. Is that is that when you're really hungry? Necronom Nom Nom. Yeah. Did you also unlock different characters to play, like a Frankenstein's monster or something? No, I think it's just Reinhardt and Carrie. Yeah. Yeah, actually, they recently found a Konami code for this game that unlocked like everything from the get-go. Hmm. Yeah, like 20 plus years later, somebody discovered the Konami code. And I don't even think this Reinhardt, Reinhardt, Reinhardt actual, Schneider, uh, you Kenneth doeth, cutteth his fucking head off. <laughs> I don't think this is considered canon to uh, the Castlevania timeline anymore. I think a lot of people wanted to shoot this game out of a cannon into the sun. And, and yet, years later, people are actually going, you know, it wasn't that bad. It's yeah, just I mean, if you can get over the shitty camera. The nitrous, you had to carry yeah, the nitrous Yeah, that's really it. Then again, when you consider, like, at the time, the camera was the standard for survival horror games. Oh, God. You had to... Oh, Jeebus. Ooh. Oh, Oh, God. Stay away from the trees, children. Very badly polygraphed trees are falling all over the place. You have to pick the motherfucker up. No, I think that's the yeah. accoutrement. Oh, yeah, I guess you do. I thought it was the accoutrements that were like... Nope. Unlimited. <laughs> you can do that. Get up, yeah. Reinhardt Schneider. It's like, you're not a Belmont, you're a phony. A big, fat phony. Hey, everybody, this guy's not a Belmont. Reinhardt Schneider, deuceth bigelow, maileth gigolo. Oh, my God. (laughs) 
you know what it takes to be a good man whore? This. Charisma. If this was not a retro roulette, I would say Deuce Piccolo Male Gigolo would be the episode title. Right. <laughs> Well, you well, you know, uh, Reinhardt Snyder comes from a long line of Rob Snyder's relatives, like uh, uh, Taven Snyder, uh, Delbert Snyder, and uh, L. King. Don't don't forget, don't forget Laquifa Snyder. Laquifa. Yeah. See, uh, the the lock on system in this game is actually better than the Z targeting system from. Uh, Ocarina of Time. Isn't it still with the Z button, though? <laughs> yeah. So it's still technically it's Z button. Slightly, it's slightly more intuitive. Uh, there must be a switch I have a hit to open that door. Uh, I'm going to call bullshit on that until I see. I, I love the fact that the, uh, the that opening cutscene, though, starts off with uh, the uh, Rondo of Blood intro. Played on a violin. Yeah. Now that is something actually I wouldn't mind watching you play through what, with Rondo accoutrements. Blood? Yeah, on the uh, PC Engine uh, CD. As long as it's uh, playable in English, I'm sure it is. Yeah, the, there's there's an English patch. I thought Rondo. But trust me, oh. I am still salty that you can't hack the Turbo Graphics Mini. Because I was going to put the English patched versions of that and Snatcher onto the system. And then it's like, nope, no reset button. You can't hack the system. The great doors are firmly sealed shut by the central crest. All right. As you stare at her ample breast. You need the Curtis Lombardman's helmet. Okay. Dad. Dad. You are dead, dead, dead. Dead, dead. dead, 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 dead How many dead, times is that dead, tree going to fucking oh. fall? What the fuck? Respawning trees. Respawning vases. Everyone's sitting there with their happy faces. There must be a switch somewhere that I'm not seeing. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful world we live in. A sweet romantic place. Yeah. Beautiful people everywhere. The way they come. <laughs> Fucking the sinuses. Come, so it, did you just say the way they come? <laughs> no. I was trying to... I had accidentally fucked up the lyrics because it's the way they show they care makes me want to say. It's in the second verse is when they say the way, the they, way they comb in they your hair. hair. Or the way they come in your hair. <laughs> the way they come in your hair. Yes. It's not a Devo lyric, I swear to God. They don't talk about coming in people's hair. <laughs> Now, now try to can... get some sleep out there. Wait, 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 wait. Can you throw your knife at it? Oh, That's never mind. You did, do. and it didn't work. Pay attention. Oh, I'm also not pay hitting it. fucking attention. It, I am paying attention, d dingle oh, dick. <gasps> you don't get out. You should be proud of me. I went this far without insulting you. Oh, you got there. Congratulations. Roast beef. That was so That's uh, I picked up Sunny apparently. Sunny. <laughs> oh, so a friend of mine texted me earlier. We we'll call him Tycho Blyly. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and so he goes. Well, I was at. Uh, I was at in the bathroom at work today, and he was at the urinal. And this guy walked up next to him, starts going to the bathroom. And then the guy starts tapping his foot underneath. Oh, no. So my friend, of course, knows what that means, starts freaking out. So he goes, dude, I I'm, I'm sorry. I No, I'm straight. And I so the guy goes, what the fuck are you talking about? I just like to tap my foot while I pee. <laughs> I'm 
pissing. Our dicks were kissing. Because, uh, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog taps his foot and goes, I'm waiting. Hey, what you doing? Pooping? Pooping. Now I'm actually peeing. <sighs> Wow, oh, okay. there's there's nothing. Yeah, this I don't... is a really great. Yeah, this is a great do, game. I can't do, even get past this door. Do, do the do the accoutrements break the intro? I I don't think so. I don't know why they would have. He has well, to is there like out an item or something or a specific yeah. enemy that was supposed to die? Because it seems weird that the trees kept on respawning and. I don't, I don't know why the accoutrements are always to blame when something goes wrong. <laughs> because accoutrements because... always break games because these games were made on, like, duct tape and paper clips. You have to remember the accoutrements. Well, why do you think people speedrun games with an any percent category? I don't even know what accoutrements would be breaking the game. I only have infinite health on. <laughs> I literally don't have anything else turned on. Just infinite health. That's it. I have no clue. I mean, uh... Remember, when we played Super Star Wars, and we couldn't get to that, uh... big landmark during the, uh... Yeah, uh, the... you just stayed endlessly, uh, traveling around the Dune Sea. Couldn't make it to the sand crawler. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? Too bad you don't have a map. Is I feel like you've been everywhere. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. We have a roast beef. Level menu. Walk but it's like... uh, run forward, trudging through the rain, pass through trees, pass through skeleton, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you'll approach... Uh, kill them and continue. You will approach a very large grate with a blue plate on it. Fire orbs at the plate until it breaks off. The gate will slowly creak open to reveal... A mini boss. What does it mm. mean, fire orbs? I, I'm assuming they mean may, maybe knives. Then I don't know. Like, oh, uh... are you are you fucking kidding me? That is not intuitive. Mike wasted at all. Mike Maybe wasted boss. ten. Ten fucking minutes of his life wandering around aimlessly just to throw some knives at a motherfucking door? Get the yes. fuck out of here, man. Right, Ashley. Ashley. Uh, like, like I said, this was basically more of a survival horror game than a Castlevania game because, like, this is the weird cryptic shit that you would get in, like, Resident Evil and crap. It's like, oh, I'll throw a knife at a fucking door. Holy shit. Logic has no meaning. I'm sorry. Ashley is getting that. way too angry about this. Uh, on the plus side, this game features a freaking skeleton on a motorcycle. Oh, shit. Dude. And it's a giant gorilla. That's King Kong skeleton right there. Skeleton on motorcycles. Yeah, Skeleton Titan Bone. <laughs> bone. That's a pretty oh. badass name, Titan Bone. Yeah. The next boss is called the Wear Tiger. Oh my. Ooh, a lycanthrope. Their, and then you their get to fight tiger. Titan Bone again for the actual uh, boss is Titan Bone's Revenge. Yeah, the axe is a much better weapon. Yep. Yipe, 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 yipe. Yeah. You don't want to fall or fucking die. Whip it good. No, 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 no. Correct that whip. Correct that whip. Get no, no, the past no, 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 no. the slip. Step, Step on the crack. Crack the mouth of the slack. Dude. 
Do do do. When a problem comes along, you must whip it. I'm not talking about my dong. You must whip it. You must whip it. What the fuck? Licorice whip. Yeah. Licorice way up. Smithers. Night falls. What a horrible time to have a curse. Uh, most of the reason why that game gets a bad rap is because everybody just wants to be James Rolfe. Everybody wants uh, to. Everybody wants to be a balding middle-aged video game reviewer. I mean, everybody Outside. tried to imitate that whenever talking about the game. Oh my god, it sucks! It's total crap, fucking duty, doo doo dookie, crap, shit. <laughs> Duty. Hey, Duty. This, Duty. Game, this game is duty covering my butt balls. At <laughs> my butt least ball. Ego Raptor had a concise review of it. This game is uh, anal syrup pour all over a fat girl's titties. <laughs> uh, anal syrup. I think I think James Rolf has to go home. <laughs> Ooh, the cross. <laughs> I, to be fair, I feel like a lot of that was probably written more by Mike Matei. <coughs> Is Mike Matei into the butt stuff? Because, yeah. Well, no, probably. it's just like he, he, he just, he seemed to be the more vulgar of the duo based off of when you'd see them play off of each other with James and Mike Mondays. We. All right, thoughts on Castlevania, Mike Dane? Oh. Wow, that, that went by quick. Yep. Um, I mean, that part of the door was very counterintuitive. And I really feel like they should have given you a bit of a hint as to how to open it. Yeah. But this really wasn't terrible. I I was enjoying watching you beat up skelly men. Uh, Jason. It gets a bad rap, but truly, there are worse games out there you could be playing. You could be playing Chester Cheetah Too Cool to Fool or Chameleon Twist 2. Okay. Uh, Ashley. The fact that you wasted 10 minutes <clears throat> because they didn't give you a hint on what to do with the fucking door irked me. It's like Castlevania, like even in a simple horror movie game or a horror genre game, they string about little hints like breadcrumbs to Hansel and Gretel. You know, it's supposed to kind of deter you, but still set you on the right course. It's I would have to see more of this game played, but I'm nettled. Billy. I don't care for it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I it's. It, uh, I I'm not a big fan of 3D Castlevania. I'd I much prefer the 2D one. That's the the linear 2D Castlevania, not the not the Metroidvanias. But um, it's fine. Scores out of ten, Dane. Or Jason. Six. Ashley. Five. Billy. Or I'm gonna give it a five. On this episode, we played Mario Party, WCW Nitro, and Castlevania. Best game of the episode, Dane. Mario Party. Jason. Mario Marty. Ashley. Mario Party. Billy. And <laughs> Billy had a stroke, and I'll pick Mario Party. Uh, and that means Mario Party is the winner. Thanks you for joining us for this yep. edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Forgione, Jason Amherst, Ashley Miller, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette. Good night, everyone. Good, 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 good. Bye. Au revoir.